This is Norman Kissinger from Redeeming the Time Brothers Ministries, and uh, today I want to talk for a few minutes about uh, actually a book that I had been reading, and um, a biography uh, about, um, if you can see this here, The Small Woman by Alan Burgess. And if you're my age or older, you probably maybe have at least heard of this character here, even if you haven't heard of this specific book here, because uh, if you've ever watched The Inn of the Sixth Happiness, and uh, which is an old movie, and um, with Ingrid Bergman, I think, was the actor in that, then you would see the character that is uh, that actually is played in this book here. And I went back through my library, and I decided I'd read some biographies that I had of different Christians. And that biography about um, Gladys A. Lord, who she played in the movie. Now, if you want to have a good overview of, of her life that is kind of loosely based on what happened to her, then that movie is actually excellent. You can find that on Amazon because we probably watch it about once a year at our family. But um, you really need to get a hold of some sort of a biography like this if you enjoy biographies and true stories, especially true missionary stories that tell about the life of uh, Christians and their struggles and, and their successes in the Christian faith. And uh, so Gladys A. Lord was a, a young lady who, before World War II, got a calling to go to China as a missionary. Uh, she was not accepted by a missions board, uh, decided to save money as a chambermaid and go on her own, went across Russia, had some adventures that uh, were just actually, are just actually mind-blowing in the things that happened to her, got to China, uh, began working with a missionary there and you can just read about all of her adventures if you can get a hold of this book or probably there's a couple of other biographies written on her I'm sure that you'll learn a lot about her life but I enjoyed rereading it because I enjoy good stories and good novel type books but I especially enjoyed it because it reminded me that God uses ordinary people to do his work he uses ordinary people like you and me and the other thing that uh, uh, that I thought about this book that I thought was interesting was that when I look back to where I found it I had actually gotten it, I think it was being taken out of the public library here in my hometown. And so they were replacing with some other some other material. And so I got a hold of this, this book and was able to get it. And that just kind of reminded me of the sad state that we're in, that, uh, that at one time in our public libraries and our public schools, uh, good Christian books were there. And uh, those are being moved out and all kinds of other very harmful things are being moved into those into those libraries and so that's a kind of a, a sad state of affairs but it was an excellent book i'm now reading a book by george Mueller, and maybe i'll talk a little bit about it when i get through it but it's a larger biography of his life but as we listen to the lives of other christians who are uh, going through the same problems that we're going through the same struggles the same trials then it strengthens our faith to see that there's other people that win in the end. They get to the end of their life having served God and did what God wanted them to do, whether their race is short or long or you know, whether it's hard or whatever their race uh, in the Christian faith is. They <clears throat> made it to the end and God was there and faithful for them over and over again. Certainly true in her life. And so when I get done with George Mueller, which is a lot longer book than this one, it's about twice as big, I will... Uh, uh, I'll maybe comment on it and tell you some things that I learned from his life. Uh, but I think we're going through a time, and Gene and I have talked about this, where we're going to need to be looking around for hard resources like this book. And especially things like, uh, we'll talk about um, uh, uh, Bible commentaries and Bibles. And the reason I say that is because I don't, know that if we don't get into a state of conflict in the world that eventually internet will be limited or actually taken away. Internet's wonderful. I have on this tablet right here enough um, information to pastor a church uh, just in, in resources. However, um, if it's taken away then uh, then of course I, I don't have other resources if I don't have hard copies of hard books. So my recommendation would be that um, that as a Christian you have at least a small resource of, of, of actual paper books, uh, a Bible, um, a, 
uh, good Bible commentaries, um, uh, Bible dictionaries, and some other things that we may introduce on here uh, that we may talk about in order to be able to be effective for the Lord. Uh, I don't remember who said this, but somebody, I, it, it was a famous person, and forgive me that I can't remember where the quote came from, but it said, if you don't <clears throat> have the ability to have lots of books, then pick them well. So a few good books is better than a whole bunch of books that are trash. So uh, whoever made that quote, which was, I, th I think, a saint from the last century or a century before that, but, but they were actually right about that. So I encourage you to start collecting, going to, and a good place to get them actually is in um, thrift stores a lot of times because people are getting rid of them, but going and finding good books and uh, having a small library of very good books so that you have the resources necessary when they're missing. Uh, that uh, you can continue to grow in your faith. And uh, so God bless you. Have a great day. And uh, may the Lord be with you this week.